Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we are going to be doing another zodiac sign. Today we are going to be doing Pisces the fish. So I haven't done a fish piece really. I mean I've done something close to it, sea monster like, but I haven't done an actual fish and I thought it'd be really fun and cute to do a chubby goldfish. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so for this piece, we only have one clay part that we're going to be making, and that's going to be the face. So I've got my tin foil. I'm going to get that covered in clay, and we're going to start building up the shape of the head. So my idea for the goldfish is going to be kind of like those ones that have those really big, googly-looking eyes. I just like the idea of it. I don't want to go too, like funny looking. I want it to still look very pretty and stuff like that, but I do like the idea of giving him just huge eyes. So for the eyes, I'm going to be using some little resin pieces that I made ahead of time. These ones are very glittery and stuff, and I think they'll go well with all the colors that I'm going to be using. I think I'm mainly going to stick around like actual gold for the color of our goldfish. And then I think black and maybe a little bit of a dark red would look cool as an accent color. So right now I'm just working on getting the eyelids placed around the eyes, blending them into the face, just kind of figuring out how I want everything to look. I realized that the, I guess you could call it the snout of the fish was really short, so I added a little bit more clay there. And then I'm gonna start working on our fish lips. So for that, I'm gonna kind of put a little hole right in the very front, and then I'm gonna take some strips of clay and frame that to make the lips. going to clean them up a little bit and maybe kind of spread the corners of the mouth just a tiny bit so it looks a little bit more open um, and then I'll move on to adding a few more details. I'm going to use some little balls of clay to make the nostrils. For this I'm just going to place some larger ones down first and then I'm going to go a little bit tinier and I'm going to place those on top and then I'm going to stick right in the middle one of my tools that way it pushes them all together and it makes it look like kind of like a wrinkly nostril. And then I want to add some decoration around the face. I plan on using a really pretty lace fabric for the fins, and I kind of want to add a little bit of decoration that looks similar to that. So I'm going to add some dots here and there, and some strips of clay, and just kind of make it look a little bit lacy on the front of the face and around the gills. And then once I'm done with adding all the details to our face, I like how it looks, I'm going to put it in the oven to bake. So I'm going to set it in for about 45 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit, and then once it's out of the oven and is cooled to touch, we can start painting it. So with the painting, I mainly want our face to be gold, but I found the best way to have gold paint stand out is to actually primer everything black first. So I'm going to go over the entire face with some black paint. Once it's dried, I can start adding some extra colors here and there. Since I plan on using red, I'm going to throw in some red and then we can go over it with our gold. So 
So once I'm done with that, I can then go over and add a little bit more detail if I want. I mainly want to go over the kind of lacy patterns that we added. So I'm going to kind of paint some of those more of a cleaner gold just so they kind of stand out a little bit more. And then some of the pieces I'm also going to be doing black so they can stand out a bit more too. And then after that, I'm just going to clean any excess paint that got on our eyes, and then we can move on to our sewing. So this is the pattern that I'm going to be using to make our body for our goldfish. So it's mainly just the shape of the body, a bunch of different fin pieces, and then a belly piece. So it's not too complicated. The first thing that we're going to work on sewing are going to be all the fins. So for the fins, I'm going to have a kind of darker backing color, and then we're going to be sewing lace over this. So all the fins are basically going to have two layers of fabric on them. So I'm going to pin everything together for the fins with the lace on the inside and then we can do all the sewing with our sewing machine. So I'm just going to go around them leaving the base of them open that way we can flip everything right side out when we're done sewing. Now I want the fins to be a little bit more layered, so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take just the lace fabric this time and I'm going to make some strips of it that I'm going to bunch up and then we can sew around our other fins. So for example, the main tail fin, I'm going to kind of sew it around the very front and then we can also add some on the inside of it. Once I have all the fins done, we can start putting our body together. So I'm going to start with the two side pieces of our body. For this, I have a reversible sequence. So the main color is gold and then it reverses to a black. So I'm going to take those and then I'm going to take the dorsal fin, the fin that goes down the back of the fish, and we're going to start sewing down the back portion of the body. So we're just going to start right at the very front and work our way down and sew that fin in place as we go. Then once we get to the end, we can sew in place the tail fin. For the fins on the sides, I need to figure out where I want them on the fabric. I'm going to draw on the backing of our sequent fabric and figure out where they're going to go. I'm going to cut some slits and then we're going to place the fins into those slits and sew them into place. I'm going to add a little bit more lace to these as well and then we're going to move on to adding our clay face. So I'm going to take our body and we're going to start gluing the fabric around the base portion of the head. I've sculpted the head to where this fabric slightly tucks under the gills. So we're just going to glue that in place and then we're also going to take the belly fabric and glue it to the bottom portion of the head. You want to let everything dry and then we can start stuffing and closing up the body. Now I still have two more fins that I want to add, so what I'm going to do when I'm stuffing and closing up is I'm going to stop at a certain point where I want to add those fins and then I can sew them in place while I'm doing everything else. So I'm just going to figure out where those are going to go and then we're going to continue stuffing and closing up our fish body.
<laughs> you hit me on the nose. Okay, guys, and here is our Pisces goldfish. I had so much fun making this chubby body. He's so cute. He's actually really soft. I didn't overstuff him, so he's really plush. But yeah, so far this has been our third zodiac symbol. So I need to know what you guys want to do next. So let me know which sign you want to do next, and I'll add it to my list of things to do, and we'll eventually get to it like everything else. <laughs> So if anyone wants to buy our little goldfish, he will be on my website. Check the links down below for that. I'll also have a bunch of links to a bunch of different art supplies that I like to use. So if you want to see what I like to use to make my art dolls, you can check those out as well. Now these are affiliated links, so if you do buy anything through them, it does help support the channel. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe to all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!